Lucas, come on. Hi guys, so <laughs> welcome to this video where today is actually sunny, so I decided let's film at the window and um, yeah, Lucas decided it's going to be her spot. So join me in this beginning of a video where I try to just like coerce her <laughs> into moving. <laughs> okay, shall we compromise? Hello, how are you? If you don't know me, my name is Bia and today I actually want to talk to you guys about art books. Haven't had <laughs> a lot of art books during my time. I just recently started getting into them, but I have acquired quite a lot recently. I've been in a sort of a mood where I really want to just collect them, especially for when I am not very feeling very inspired. Those are quite handy. And so, <laughs> what, you don't like them? You don't like them? Because they keep me busy from playing with you? Yeah. <laughs> I got two this past weekend, so I thought, why not share my art book collection? And I'm actually currently waiting on one on the mail and thinking of getting another one. So this collection might be growing in a few days. So I think I'm going to just go chronologically order of when I got them, because I think it might be interesting that way. So I'm going to put the most recent at the bottom. Uh, I mean, for last. I'm sorry, sweetie, you're going to fall off the table. And I don't want that. Starting with actually this one. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I am going to show you a few pages and at least talk about them and let you know where I got it and just share my collection with you guys. So this book was actually my first ever art book and I got this when I was like in ninth grade, when I went to school trip to Lisbon and I'd never seen anything like this anime was still very much a, like a secret for me so when i saw this i lost my mind and this has like many interesting artists here and it comes with tutorials so let me show you at least my favorite artist here at least my two so this is my one of my favorite artists here on this book kira imai and ironically i recently found her on Instagram, which was a very nice surprise and very cool to see. So it was really, really cool. I love this work. My second favorite, oh yeah, and then quickly show you, it comes with tutorials at the end. My second favorite is Hime plus You. Love, love this art and I don't know, I just, oh, this made me so, so happy when I found this book. My little Weeb heart sang. I was just so used to not seeing anything like this. Keep in mind, this was ninth grade. It was over ten years ago, <laughs> maybe fifteen. I'm not sure about the math now. I don't feel like doing math, but yeah, it's so beautiful. So yeah, this book. I'm not sure if you can still get it. it like I said, a long time ago. Hopefully, you maybe can if you'd like. Like Gothic Lolita Punk from. Rico, Rico. I'll try to find the books if I can on online and if I do find them I'll link them in the pinned comment down below. But yeah, this was my first ever art book and it was my my first love. I'm also going to count sort of like art books from artists and zines. So this was my first ever Kickstarter that I supported. It was by the artist Mine Miko Mali, which is a Spanish artist actually. And I've had the pleasure to see her art in person in Japan Weekend. And I just, I really wanted to support her. I've loved her artwork since forever. And this one has witch art, it's so beautiful. We will flip through just like that. You see, I have lots of sketches, and like I mentioned, my first ever kickstart, and it started a sort of um, trend for me where I, I got really excited with kickstarts at the time. This was, I already was in college. I purchased this with my own money and everything else, so it was a big actually step for me to be able to support this. Actually, now that I think about it, I was actually already working after college, so yeah, big, big step for me. Speaking of kickstarters that I supported, of course, I have one of Loish. I think she already has three. This is her second one and I still keep it in its sleeve because it's so, so beautiful. I have to, I have to bring this out more often because this is such a gorgeous art book, but I just don't want to take it out of the sleeve. It's so beautiful. If you don't know Loish 
Loish Art, where have you been? <laughs> so this is a lot of her progress. She just talks in depth about her artwork and shows lots of, lots of steps. And it's just a gorgeous book. I love this art book. And Loish's art style is such an inspiration. Look at these pages. These are so stunning. Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. Not sure if you can still get this book since it was on a Kickstarter, but I believe so. I think all of her books are still available, but they are a different price than they originally were. I believe that's how they work. A quick break if you allow me. <laughs> but I did want to show you guys some pieces that I got from Vograis recently. I was able to collab with Vograis and they asked me to share with you guys my opinion on the merch that I did with them and also share a little bit of progress. So, so I'm going to start with these stickers. If you know me, you know I adore shiny things and so I did this little gal. Apologies for the shadow of the window. This turned out adorable and I absolutely love it. The size is perfect. The print looks very, very nice. And the whole process of ordering with Vorgrace is actually quite easy. They are quite communicative. It was very easy to talk to them. And I got a reply pretty much every day. Like I didn't have to, have to wait multiple days to have a reply. We are in a different time zone, so that did delay things a little bit. But if I was talking to them at night, they would reply pretty much immediately. This is the process of this drawing. This is a charm. I think they call it hot stamping. So it's only on one side. The other side is a silver stamp. And it, is, it did get a few of these little speckles, but I think it was my mistake when sending them the file. So that is my bad, but everything else looks perfect. The colors look amazing. It's just so shiny. The size is a bit smaller than what I usually prefer. The charms, my charms, I like them to be like in between two of their sizes so I went for the smaller just to be not to be too too big but it still looks very very nice the whole edges are rounded and so yeah and this is the process for this drawing And then we have something I never really thought I would do, which are lanyards. Smaller lanyard that you could have a charm with it. And so I did this little fairy gal. And then I just did a little butterfly that goes with it. And then the lanyard itself, it's just cloud. It's such a soft material. It's actually super strong. It's really on there, all cute. And I have been selling these because I already went to a market and I took this. I sold this separately so you could get just the lanyard or the charm or both combined because these come out easily so just like that and they are separate and I'm quite happy with the print quality they look really cool and yeah, here's the process of this little gal here Finally, but not least, one of, I think, my favorite long lanyard. I adore how this turned out. I was a bit scared because uh, I was afraid... Look it. <laughs> I was a bit scared that it would be too slim and the pattern would not be... <laughs> the pattern would not be seen correctly, that it would not show that well, but it shows so, so nicely. The colors are very vibrant, exactly the ones that I chose. And the print is really sharp, even though it's on fabric. And again, it's so soft. I love this. 
I immediately put one on my keys. <laughs> Lucas. And yeah, and Lucas is also approves it. <laughs> it has a little, I think you call this lobster clamps and you can choose which clamp you like and the way that you want them to be stuck. Everything came out super nicely. I'm honestly super happy with everything that came out. I just want to say thank you to Vogres for allowing me to try out their merch. I managed to do a few things I never really thought I was going to do, so like lanyards and even like a gold foil charm. And this is not sponsored, they are not paying me to make this video or they did not pay me to do anything. I did pay for the order in the end, they did took some of it out so they offered me a coupon but I ended up paying with everything with my own money, everything was super high quality, they were super helpful in the whole process and it arrived rather quickly which was very nice and it did not get stuck in customs which is a big point for me. I actually think by this time I will have all of these available on my shop so if you want to grab any of these you can head on to my shop and they will be there for you to grab. And now getting back with the video. Now we go for one of my favorite artists as well, J.A.W. Cooper. I just call it Jaw Cooper or J.W. Cooper. I never say the A for some reason in my mind. And so this was part of, I believe was three books and I could only get one. I was still very broke and I still kind of am, but <laughs> Uh, and so I decided to get with the flora and fauna. I believe one was more towards flora and one fauna and I think this one was overall both. I honestly don't remember but this is such a gorgeous book and I think this was also on Kickstarter and this also has a little bit of an interview on her inside and honestly if you do not know this artist please go check her out on Instagram. She is just an, an idol. I have no idea how she's able to create such stunning work with like such deep, I don't know, it's just the lines, all of the things she makes I absolutely adore. And so it has a little bit of an interview. It does show a few pages. Let me show you a few. It's so gorgeous. I absolutely adore her work and so I am quite proud. <laughs> to have this one in my collection and it also came with a few, a few prints which I have them all hung but I won't show you a lot because again I don't want to spoil any books but I just want to completely rave about this book it is a stunning piece of art in here and I just adore it uh, talking about one made by Portuguese artists I believe most of the artists here are Portuguese so this is a collaborative art book between various artists and so it's inspired by poisonous flora. So each artist got to do a sort of a poisonous mushroom flora sort of deal. And I never know how to say it, but it's Rapacini Compendium. I never quite know how to say it, but it's gold foil. It's actually a stunning piece of artwork. And I do have some friends here that drew on this book. And I'm not sure if you can still get it, to be honest. It has an entry about which flora or fungus they were drawing about and then the artwork on the other side and yeah it has stunning artwork here and I'm honestly not sure you can still get it but it's a beautiful collection and I'm also very happy to have it in my possession uh, not to brag but I do have a zine with some friends and this one is part of uh, my collection it's a Genshin fashion, fashion zine and this one I know unfortunately you can no longer get, I believe we are all sold out but this cover was made by my dear friend Minka, is stunning and this one since you can't really get any more I think it's okay if I show you a bit more but yeah this was such a fun project and actually the first zine I ever took part of this is one of my pages and yeah so we are just we just chose some characters and then we just tried another one of mine. We just tried to make them fashion. <laughs> it was very fun. So yeah, but I think this one no longer is available. But we are currently working on a new one coming out soon. So uh, by the time I post this, I think pre-orders are already open on the one we are going to be participating. So I'll leave that one also in the little link below in the pinned comments below. 
So these are my most recent ones. I'm very into like fashion illustration books because they are great for when I don't really know what clothing to give to my characters. And so this one is by Tanaka. So this is all her, the artwork by Tanaka. And it's all like in alphabetical order. So for example, this is all with boyish style. Then we have eccentric, leopard, for example, this is by Pi International. And I just love everything that's on this publisher. So I, I the ones I want to get is actually from this one publisher. So I think <laughs> maybe soon. Then we have neon. It's so cool. This one's strawberry. It's just so cool and such a nice inspiration. Twins. I don't know. I just I love this art book. And it's actually influenced by a friend of mine that has tons of art books. And the next one is actually one that she has as well. <laughs> you wanna Ollie if you're seeing. <laughs> You have exquisite taste in art books, and so this one is one of is one of the ones that I got this past weekend, and it's the art of Yogi Sia fantasy illustrations from an enchanted bookshop, and this one I do know you can still get like these three last are more recent, so I know you can get them no problem, and this art book is just so stunning. Only the cover itself it's so gorgeous, and on the inside. We have usually this is based by uh, tales so uh, for example the 12 dancing princesses and then you have a stunning illustration on the other side it's so so pretty i just love it so much thumbelina and even though this is all in japanese i believe i can just quickly do like a google translate and i can just read it if i want but honestly, I just got it for the picture. I don't mind if I can't really read it. So yeah, this is also a gorgeous book and it's also by that uh, publisher, I believe, The Pie. So yeah, I, I really want more. And lastly, but not least, we have a Vampire Night art book. <laughs> this one I got because just the nostalgia of it. Vampire Night was one of my first animes. And even though it has its issues, it's such a nostalgic piece of anime and manga for me that I just had to have it. It's it's actually pretty cheap for the size of it, it's like 30 euros. And it's actually a very tall book and hardcover as well, which is very cool. And it opens like Japanese <laughs> direction. And you have lots of art books of Kaname, of course he's the boy but also Zero and his twin. And I don't know, it's just so gorgeous and the style is so nostalgic for me that I just, I had to have it. It's so, so cool. I'm honestly really, really happy to have it. And yeah, and in the end, it does have sort of a tutorial. So it has a page of a tutorial and this stretches out. <laughs> this stretches out and you can see the full length illustration which is really cool and I have no idea this happened on the book. This is my collection of art books. I really wanted to share it with you guys. I just, I don't know, I thought it would be a fun time and I am currently waiting for the Hanako art book of the Toilet Bound Hanako art book and I also want a few more from the Pi publisher. So yeah, if you have any art books that you really like and you like me to check it out, please do link them or just like share them on the comments because I adore art books and they're just a great source of inspiration when you are just stuck or just you want to have a new fresh perspective and just look at pretty things. <laughs> so I just want to say, look at <laughs> Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and for being here. Luca also says thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and do let me know which art books do you like. If you have any that I would like, that you would like for me to check out and I will. I will try my best to link all of these in the pinned comment. So do check that pinned comment out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!